uh, we didn't do shopping today, so. No, the boss had. Uh, so he had to uh, do his lawyer for the Kisco house. Mm. Oh, how's that going? I wonder. Oh, well, working toward a sale. They want the house, no doubt, right? There's a builder buying it. He wants the building lines when he wants. Hmm. I'm sure you don't want the house. No, he's going to knock it down most likely. They got the plumbing in. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, Terry looks like that all the time. Hmm. And she was probably half in the bag, so. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Will we make it? Let's see, is there any police officers around? <laughs> eh, five second rule. And they work on street pizza, Scott. Oh, red lights. I haven't had street pizza in a while. Uh -huh. Oh, we can buy a pizza later, throw it in the street, you can eat it. Exactly. <laughs> you can't be <beat> free. <laughs> well, nothing's free. The diarrhea would be, would be free, though. I'm gonna get sick from that. You know if it might be long long term effects. <laughs> Whatever happened to that irradiated pizza you left on the roof of your car that time? I don't know. Fell in the street someplace. Two of them actually ate one, ate one, and ate one oh, before the other. <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> Only one time some uh, drunk guy offered to pay like 150 bucks for food. So I had to phone it in and say I got robbed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was so not in me to do that all drunk and hungry and I'm coming in with Philly steaks and a salad and, and a big old pepperoni pizza whatever the hell I had it was like $25 worth of food it was a lot oh man so I'll, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you double I'll give you 50 bucks for that I said this is somebody's food you gonna can't give me 50 bucks for that uh, I said I'll, I'll give you 75 bucks for that I'm like no nah, I can't and then, then and finally he said you wouldn't, you wouldn't take that? I go, this is somebody's food. And the guy was, so then finally he offered like, oh, it's like 120 or something, or 150 or something. So he had a wad of money. Jesus. And he said, you're gonna turn down 150? And I took it and I pushed the food over and ran out the car. I said, Dave, Dave, somebody stole the food. He was, oh, he said, shit, shit, all right, hurry up and come back. He had to recook the food. <laughs> I came back out. <laughs> Jesus. Did you at least give him a taste at 150? No. <laughs> Best no tip so, Lewis, what you're what you're saying is you robbed your employer for the price of a couple of Philly cheeses and a pepperoni pizza. God, you probably ate them yourself. No, that was the roadkill. That was Chinello's. And then I brought back, and then I brought back their zip-up pizza thing. They didn't even say thank you. Of course not. There was no pizza in it. They figured you ate it. Which I did. Yeah. Actually, I sold it. I walked in. I said, "Anybody order?" Uh, and then, then they, I sold it for, for and, I, and I upped the price too. <laughs> that markup. Oh, so there's a uh, high school diploma hanging in the hallway here from 1902. Oh yeah. I mailed out the propeller. Uh -huh. Jesus fucking Christ! Remember me and Mike looked up the quote. To ship the mm -hmm. propeller, so I went to three different places just for shits and giggles. And I went to the uh, one down there in Somers. Guess how much they wanted? No idea. Eight hundred ninety-six dollars. Mm -hmm. The usual put on a black ski mask and pull out a gun and uh, unbelievable. So of course I took it up here to Brewster and they did it for under five. Good lord. Surprise for that kind of money, you just throw it in the fucking car and drive it there yourself. Yeah, right? Jesus. Well, everybody was in shock and awe when I, I went to the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts. Everybody was ooing and aahing at it and then, uh, <laughs> then walking across the parking lot, everybody staring at it like I had a, two, a live two headed alien. Like, okay, it's a, it's a propeller. It's not that extraordinary. And then, of course, I get into the UPS store and everybody's like, oh, uh -huh. I said, well, I got the delivery of the, delivery of the month here. Three months ago, somebody mailed a car bumper off of an old Buick yeah, somewhere. Fairly. Shit! It's my fucking fruit. All over the fucking place now, probably. No, that's good. It's on a seat still? Yeah. All right. That shit hit the floor. It's gonna. Okay, it's there. That must have been your peanuts or whatever the fuck that was. That was my pepperoncinis. <laughs> little snack for later. Fucking fruit was eleven 
dollars. Shove it right up your ass when they cut it. What? When they cut the fruit up, they shove it up your ass on the really? price. Oh yeah. But well, one guy had had a good guess. I said, any guesses as to the year? The guy goes, forties, fifties. I said, I said, nope. One guy goes, nineteen oh five. I said, oh god, you're red hot. I said, nineteen fifteen. Yeah, close enough. I said, close enough. I said, you're right, right on the mark with that. I said, this is this doesn't even qualify for World War One actually. Not on our side anyway. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, Curtis N twenty six. He was like, damn, this, this is impressive. He said this was a, this was the odd delivery of the year so far. That he knows about. Well, yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> Who knows how many bricks of marijuana, cocaine, and heroin he shipped oh, out? Yeah, right? Totally unknowing what's in the box. Yeah. Sex toys and fucking uh, <laughs> dog do in a bag, all kinds of shit. I'm sure. <laughs> Lady and they want because it was something you don't see every day. It's a pretty neat, huh? So it's gonna be a wall hanger in Montana. <laughs> well, I own a wall hanger from Montana. Oh yeah. a lot of shit this week too. What do you mean? The old man, first oh. time he went to use that refurbished quarter-inch drive Craftsman ratchet, it broke, fell apart. Really? The clip, the retaining clip broke in it and the whole thing just tumbled into pieces. <laughs> that's back in the bag. I broke a snap-on screwdriver, that's in the bag. Yeah. I shattered a Bonnie inch and, remember the Bonnie inch and a quarter oh. impact socket I bought in Elephant's oh. trunk? Yeah. I used that fucking thing for a good 400 or more tires I took apart Big ass 1020 truck tires, no less. But I did the upper yard cleanup. I use it one fucking time for the shop, it shattered. Well, I can't replace it because there is no bunny anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'll be crass, but then. Fucking Chinese craps. Was yeah, Bonnie went out in uh, 405. Uh, Possibly earlier than that. I looked it up, so I did a little research online to see if I could mail it in, and they, they well, I would have been able to mail it in, but they went out of business. Like, they were, somebody bought them for a few years, and then that company went out, and that was it. Yeah. Damn, so, so what was that, a Craftsman quarter inch that broke, or? Yeah. Huh. Get you a new one. Boy, Middletown is getting empty. <laughs> The, the, when that big truck came in, now no more. Oh, they're oh, and they pushed the date back. They're closing March 26th, uh, and there ain't much left up there. It's, it's pretty. Uh, it's, it's getting pretty. It's pretty thin up there now. Although, like the aisles are like all empty now. Huh. But they said people are buying stuff. They're coming in. People are buying clothes and tools. And they're buying everything. now before they have to travel a lot further to get it. That's probably why, because even they were miffed when they were doing this 10 and 15 and 20% off because they say you get better than that over the holidays. I get that with military discount. I get 10, uh -huh. 10 or 15. That's why they said even they were shocked that shit was going up off the shelf like it was. So I said, yeah, he's going to get another offload of truck, and they said no. They said they they said it went to another store. I didn't find out which one. They said they didn't know, but it went to another closing store somewhere within a have to find out. What's the matter? It's Mikey? Wants to know where you are? Uh, you already you already took you you did remember to Yes I did. Okay. Like I, yes I did. Whew. Well don't bother texting now, we're gonna be there in two seconds. No. You're lucky you get nailed by a cop right over here while you text him. I'll get nailed by a cop later tonight, don't worry. Oh, well, it should be. Yeah, they 
they said they were shocked that everybody is uh, buying everything at the prices that they're that they're only marking them down like 15, 20, 25 percent. They said people coming in and buying buying the shit like crazy. And even the one guy said this is all the Japanese stuff. They said nobody wants. Uh, um, they said everybody wants the USA made stuff. So one of the guys actually knew that. Mikey you got your spot. No, that's not Mike's car. I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, Mike's got the truck today. <laughs> 